this away. Let's see if it didn't open up to our program. Where did I save it again? Uh, let's see, it's not the right folder. Here it is. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot about this. I need to modify it first. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess I'll switch over to full screen. Oh, wait, I need to change my stream category. Let's see. Fix my overlay. Then category. Yeah. Okay. I need to put music on again. Uh, where did I put my... Is it this one? I'm trying to loop it. Let's see. First I need to... Let's double check something. It's not too bad or anything, is it? Let's see. Which one will I open up as example? Uh, open up Dead Cells for a test example. Just give a few minutes to load. Chat really white instead. Oh, I am doing an air stream. I just want to kind of visualize things. So organized. <laughs> there she says it was kind of last minute. All right, so then which one was this again? All right, chat. Uh, hmm. Let me just wider instead. Ah, uh, looks weird. I need to fix that. Do 
Ik moet zelf nu gewoon hier zitten comfortably. Okay, so that one. I don't know if this is interesting or not, but what's here if you want to watch it? I'm also kind of mumbling to myself. There might be some side traces, but I don't think so. Uh, it's color. Line. It wasn't even a line. 
Uh, it's still crooked. Still crooked. I should mention, um, this art program is called Krita, K-R-I-T-A. You wanna check out your song? is actually, I have a Linux OS, so I was looking for a program, an air program that can be used with it. Oh, yeah. Have you used it yourself? Photoshop images using this. That's how I made my uh, my live 2D rig. Definitely good for a Photoshop alternative. I've never used Photoshop, so I can't compare it. I like Krita. When I was using my Windows PC, I used uh, what's it called Paint.net. I think when I bought my drawing tablet, I got uh, what was it? What are they called? I got license codes, or whatever called. Or other programs. Um, what was them called? Paint. One was called Clip Studio. I kind of liked that one, but then I forgot my password, and I think my code expired, and I had to pay for it, so I decided, oh, I'll just find something, something else. Web Studio, I think so. The other two, I don't remember their names, I wasn't really impressed by them. Oh wait, isn't Clip Studio the one that I've seen on Twitter, apparently they're changing their business model or something like that? Oh yeah, that's the one I talk I was thinking about. I kinda hate the idea of programs having subscription services. Yes, I'm fixing my overlay, just a quick fix. I kind of want to do more art streams, but then I'll be just experimenting with drawing myself. I said yet. That's the main reason I'm not doing art streams more, because I don't really want to spoil my phone. Like, uh, I kind of do, but I kind of don't. I 
one hand, I want my life to be cool and look to be surprised. But the other hand, I'm really impatient, you know. Curiosity, do you have any favorite artists? You use mouse? No, I use a, a John tablet. I have a, what's it called? It's on my back. In two wheels. It's not a fancy John tablet or anything, but it works. I noticed one artist, that, well, I don't actually know her. I'm a fan of her. Uh, her name is Nano Mortis. She uses a mouse to draw. Another artist I really like is called Hidari. Back on stuff, I switched to iPad later on. I do, I have heard some people use their tablets to draw. They used their tablets as the drawn tablet, rather. Still can afford those antiques. I've had heard of antiques. I think that's what the professionals use, but I'm not a professional. I still can't afford those antiques. Do you really need a fancy drawn tablet, though? Because it's not what it's not what you have; it's what you can do with what you have to count. Make sure it tingles. Okay. I kind of used to be like that. Oh, if I just bought this super expensive materials, then my art would be really good, but then, you know, nothing would actually change. I said I was to my side by playlist over and over at work. I'll just hang out with you for a while. I don't really talk much because I'm kind of awkward still, but I'm glad you're enjoying it. I don't know, Jack is kind of weird if someone like me wants to be a streamer considering I don't really like talking that much. Well, it's not that I don't like talking much, it's more like I'm just bad at it. <laughs> you get comfortable with it, and that's the hope. Earlier on, apparently, I had like six viewers, and I got really nervous. I thought, oh, that's a, that's a lot of people. Then my numbers dropped down to three people again, so I felt comfortable. It's a complicated feeling. I kind of want to grow, but at the same time, I'm kind of comfortable with what I have right now. I seem to work on my conversational skills. The more you practice, the better you'll get at it. Yeah, we're relaxing present and music is helpful a lot. Thank you. Hmm. Do I? Objectively, your voice takes out relaxing and soothing. Oh, thank you. We're ignoring everyone else, though. We're quiet. I was trying to stand out can be scary, can't it? But that is easier to just blend in with the crowd.
Let's do outside. But um, it leaves gaps in these sides, that's why I'm mainly doing it. Let's see quickly. Um, we could width 600 maybe. Down to height maybe 200. Yeah. That's for example, sure what I mean. Let's see, here it is. See, all the gaps are left. I suppose it's fine if I just went over it. Yeah, it's a better way. section and a list of games I'm playing, a list of games I want to play, and then a list of games I want to play eventually. I want to clarify that. The games I want to play soon the ones I have installed and ready to go, I just haven't started them yet. The games I want to play eventually are either in my wishlist or I haven't bought them yet. I was thinking every time I end a series of asking you guys what I should play next. demo for it and it's immediately sold. It's um band wait where'd it go? I forgot her name. <laughs> uh Bandai Namco, that's it. One of their games. I realized I play a lot of their games actually. Let's see here it is. Would it be alright if I got oh well you don't have to. Comfortable people buying stuff for me, you know. That open shroud. <laughs>
Und ich bin Messi. Ich bin to mention something. So I started rewatching my VODs properly. And then I noticed on Twitch the whole time I've been accidentally cut off my intro. It seems the stream ends as soon as I press the stop streaming button. So then I'm actually cutting off about five seconds. So yeah. <laughs> I thought I was saying goodbye but I was actually just rudely cutting myself off suddenly. Sorry about that. One day I'll be the professional. And then I look back at my past self and cringe. <laughs> so if it's normal, that's normal I had worse. Another thing I've been trying to earn with is my audio. I went back and watched my videos on YouTube, and I suddenly got deafened because I had my gain set up way too high. Then I adjusted it and apparently I was too low. Hopefully I'm perfect now. Maybe stream crash and they Ah, that sounds awful. I think my stream has crashed anything yet, but maybe it could happen in the future. I think the worst technical problem I had was uh, when suddenly there was thunder and lightning, so I had to quickly stop. But apparently, if you use electronics when there's thunder and lightning going, you could get executed. I kind of have a quiet voice. I don't really like raising it too much. I remember when I was in school, one of my teachers called me soft-spoken. I don't want to be eating the microphone either, you know? <laughs> Some woman. <laughs> I 
I have a funny story about ASMR. So a couple months ago, I was looking at YouTube, looking at my favorite VTubers, and they're all doing ASMR. She's like, oh, that's weird. I wonder what's going on. I didn't remember. It was Valentine's Day. watch um Hall Live anymore. Um Corona was the one who introduced me to this whole thing. No, she wasn't my first exposure to VTubers, so um what was her name? Kazuna I. I watched some of her videos when she was first become more mainstream, I guess. I wasn't really I didn't really understand VTubers at the time. Because of her name I thought she was actually like an AI. their own thing instead of just playing the same popular games or whatever. So I think Kazuna, I, oh, wasn't there something about NFTs or something? Oh wait, no, that was a rumor. People thought she was quitting to do NFTs, but no, she was just talking. She just mentioned them, I think. I feel like a lot of people talk that about Kazuna, at least I did. I want to watch her live, but she needs to wait too late for me. I didn't really understand B2 respect then. Now I kind of do. But I guess it's too late to enjoy your streams now. Yeah, Kazuna eyes, that is. VTuber I like graduated. It didn't really hit me until the end of the stream when she just kind of faded away and then I realized, oh, I'll never see her again. Her name was Susu Lulu from Nichi Sanji. Definitely gonna miss Kazuna Eye. Aren't there multiple Kazuna Eyes? Are they still active? something about they tried to replace the voice actress and then people complained so they then they decided to make them different characters. I think the other Kazuna Ai is a vocaloid voice one but I don't know if- yeah she's not- they're not all called Kazuna Ai. Also, I used this to make my animated GIFs. I made my loading screen and my GIFs with this. 
A different voice actor issue, yeah, she addressed that actually. And I heard of some, um, what are they? I think they're an independent, well not an independent, a smaller Japanese VTuber company. Where they tried to sell the, the VTubers as characters or something like that. Not people. They tried switching the, they fired the original staff. And then hired different people to voice them. But then the fans complained and then I think they shortly went out of business after that. What do you like the most about VTubers? Like, what makes you like a VTuber? Their design? Their voice? Their content? I have an interest in VTubing, but if I were to do it, I'd start. be like a completely fresh start. Like, Papa Peace would disappear and some power chest that I would do. <laughs> design or anonymity. I think the Kazuna thing, the national corporation I was talking about, shows that people care about the voice behind their characters. How do I explain this? I suppose it'd be like swapping out a soul for a different soul. It's not the same anymore. I might become a view, whichever I don't have to worry about what I look like. My top process is bleh, my top process was if I could be anyone, why would I be myself by myself every other day? I actually used to do IRL face cam. Are you happier now? And I created my model. She used to line to her hair. Steps now with our stream. Oh, I know what I should do. I should make a quick layer down here and make it this super step here. Just now it's easier to see. Uh, which one was it? Was this one? Say not to get a high quality model rigged up for VTube. I know they run 800. Hmm. I have seen people complain on Twitter lately about models costing too much. I think it's an issue. I did see people complain that the standards are too high, and that's why they feel like they have to get an expensive model, a really fancy one. I wonder though, how much effect does the model have? Like, do people only stick around for the model? I thought usually people preferred the personality, and then the model was kind of secondary. 
I mean, I kind of saw the artist not gonna lie, you don't have to pay that high price. Maybe I'd already have a horse in this race since I made my own stuff. Good design doesn't necessarily mean good stream. If I'm an artsy fartsy type, I make it myself, but I'm not. I'm the has a nice voice and no creative skills type. <laughs> Even MS Paint style drawings can have charms, I don't know if you put your soul into it. See it, but chat box has a weird blue line here. Did I do that? Hmm. So anyway, I'm taking up a chat down. Yeah, I need to make it a bit wider. So then, well, it was for example, chat be like this far. Drop that weirdly. Maybe you'll go away on its own. Let's see. That's still there. Oh, I see now. It's the yeah, the names. Zoom in on OBS, unfortunately. Or at least I don't think I can, can I? No, I don't think so. I think there's a little bit here. But I need to increase it more. to increase the things to Did I accidentally set my category wrong? Wait, did I? Well, no, it's art right now. Hmm. Okay. What was it? Yes, no, I think it was the day before. That's pain code vein. And I remember set my category properly, but I also pressed cancel instead of save because when I was in the middle of it, Someone commented that I had my category wrong. Which is in the background of the other scene. Oh right, that was just a, just a test run. Just to make sure it's, the cropping's okay.
before I was just kind of making an array I liked and then fitting the screen around that, but I think this time I should be doing it properly. You know, like setting the size of the screen first, then making the overlay around that. It's supposed to be a joke. Ah, sorry. On top of being an idiot, I'm also socially awkward. Should we do except DBC stories hard for me to get into the universe? I'm only a casual DBC fan. I read the original manga and then I read Z as well, but I don't really remember anything. And then I stopped because after Super, I think I heard that it was all retcons and stuff, so I just kind of stopped there. I might have heard wrong though. Super likes to shout here. <laughs> I'm also really into One Piece, which also has a bit of shouting. I mostly read One Piece. I'm trying to watch the anime too, but you know, there's over a thousand episodes. It's gonna take a while. I read the Big Tree. Martin, is there a new big tree? I know My Hero Academia is really popular now. Demon Slayer? Wait, was it Demon Slayer? That was really popular, but that's finished now. Oh god, people say I should watch One Piece. <laughs> it's probably going to take like years to get to the latest one. I have seen posts on like Reddit with people saying like, Oh, I watched that One Piece, it only took me three years. Not that long, is it? <laughs> oh, I should change this too. One piece is hefty. Apparently, it's nearly over. Though Oda did say that before, and it uh, wasn't true. to get through, especially if you're trying to watch it with friends. It's only recently I've got back into One Piece. I've been reading the Wano arc as it's been going and I kind of had a difficulty following it. When I caught up with One Piece it was in the middle of the Dress Rosa arc. I think for now on, I just said the, the new arc they're going to be starting to finish and then I'll reach it in one go. You watch any non mainstream anime? Uh, what would be non mainstream? I also said, yeah, I'll list out a few I liked watching. I liked um, Odd Taxi. I watched, what was it called recently? Um, we watched something called Dororo. What else did I watch? Oh, I watched a kind of weird one I found. Uh, it's called Afro Samurai. Samuel L. Jackson's in it. I'm not joking. You heard of it. That's what I like watching. 
I suppose this one's kind of mainstream. What was that one that came out a few, a few years ago? Uh, was it called Death Parade? Oh, another one I watched. Um, I like Black Lagoon. Oh, and what's it called? Um, Akudama Drive? I watched that relatively recently. everything. Then I have to fix the stuff up here. I suppose I'll just redo all this. Okay, so now for my own convenience, let's call this the uh, Black, sort of a, what color would you call it? I suppose dark purple. When it comes to anime, though, I'm more of a, a pro reading. I'm pretty into light novels, actually. Right now, I'm kind of reading through um, Boogie Pop. I was first interested because it said in the blurb or the description that it was kind of told out of um, it was told it was told out of order. So I thought, oh, that sounds interesting. I have to piece it together. I'll try that. But then after reading it, it's not like that. It's more of a layer by layer instead of out of order. It was really interesting reading it for uh, reading a chapter and then going back to a previous chapter. Like, oh, I remember this person never mentioned before, and then you know. I just never looked into it. I think that was the... Was that Light Novel 2 first? Or maybe it was a manga first. right behind me so look quickly. Ah, 
I like reading um, Dead Man Wonderland. Oh, have you heard of another, you know, the gory anime, the one with the this impetus about the umbrella scene? I read the light novel for that, it's actually really interesting. Another light novel series I'm kind of halfway through is go what's it called? Zero to Maria? Empty Box and Zeroed Maria. My work is very busy. Oh, don't let me distract you or anything. reading mystery and stuff the most. But when it comes to anime, I like watch action things. I was gonna say something, but I forgot what it was. Uh, let's see what was it. That's why I'm so awkward with words. I feel like I have to blurt things out or otherwise I'll forget them. Completely forgot what it was. I think it was something about books. Oh, I never know. I'm um, isekai. But I don't like the isekai genre. No, oh, it's not really that I don't like. It's more like I don't like current isekai stuff. I don't like generic isekai, that's it. I like the saga of Tanya the Evil. Hmm. Yojo Senki, which I really like. And I suppose that's an isekai. Oh, do you like the isekai genre? Some. Also generic ones. Hmm. It's not a bad genre, it's just it's not being used to its full potential, I suppose. Like you do so many things with them, but it's just, oh I'm super powerful and all the ladies here love me. You know that sort of thing. my ass up when I keep on creating weird title story. <laughs> ah yes, the anime where the title summarizes the anime itself. Also, you're not distracting I operate a forklift for work, it's fine, um, there's a lot to do today. Oh, did you work in a warehouse? It's supposed to be busy around Christmas all the time, but are they also busy around Halloween? <laughs> oh, actually, speaking of Halloween, for Halloween, October rather, I want to play a bunch of spooky games. I 
necessarily horror games, just spooky. I think Penko Park would be a good um, kind of spooky game. Of course, I already played it, so I can't do it again. Just anything that can be seen as creepy. Curiosity Tech Tracks. Your avatar, your model. Did you make that one go or did you go through multiple designs first? Like, do you have any beta designs or anything like that? So you always knew what you want to look like. Everybody has a story with it. Ah, I'm in the... Oh good, it's just the eyes. for it and a possible 2.0 version. Okay. Try it again. This time on the right layer. <laughs> Before I became Mooker, I had a different that tree thing oops what's it called um b right i think apart from that though yeah Also, get a slight panic when you suddenly get a lot of viewers. Mm.
okay if I read you sometimes? It's like, I guess fine. I just had to get used to it. Yeah, sometimes people kind of, they try to face their fears but jump directly into it. I mean, I've gotten better crowds in real life, so maybe in virtual life I can also kind of get over it. I don't really like being around too many people, but I can manage now. Thanks for stopping by last time. Didn't think you'd be there. I didn't embarrass you or anything, did I? Fine. <laughs> it's kind of weird because like, I get bigger numbers. I think, oh, I'm finally grown, yay! And then like, I suddenly realize, oh wait, there's more people here. Oh no. thinking about though. You know you see the big YouTubers, well I guess the big streamers in general, and their chat's always zooming by with like thousands of people there and they can't read any comments. I actually found YouTube was going through the VTuber tag on Twitter. I'm not really a fan of Twitter or social media. I kind of hate how, in order to get noticed or anything, I have to, you know, spam hashtags all the time. Yeah, same. I don't know, to spam hashtags kind of feels like I'm screaming, look at me, look at me, you know? Game. Are these two? That's fine. So the game's supposed to be here. I just shoot these in because I think they're kind of cute. Sometimes I feel inspired at 3 a.m. And I can't sleep. So 
Bukan yang lupa Mention this area, I don't know if you're here enough, but I was thinking about my full model. I have a PNG version of it. And I was wondering, should I use that sometimes as well? Or should I let the full model be a complete surprise? It's still be special since it'll be a live 2D celebration. I'm going to finish this and then I'll swap them in. Might as well. I'd also just like to hear live reactions, you know? to see the whole thing or just from I don't know shoulders up I have a reference sheet I can upload to Twitter later oh wait I know I need to fix the reference sheet I'll do that later on Maybe that'd be too big.
Yeah, I think it's fine. not super anyway, but it is what it is. Okay, first let me make sure it's hidden. No, we don't. Where did I save it again? Was it? Ah, oh, here it is. Should I do like the traditional one, just like ascend? <laughs> Makes sense too, yeah. Oh, but I want to make them different colors. So, like the one on top. I'm in the wrong layer. It's like this one made the top layer, so this goes to be white, and then this will be as grayish, and this will be a dark gray. I'm making this a bit more complicated than it needs to be, but oh well. Mm. Oh, 
so okay no it's not really helpful Listen to this song the last one. Well, what was this one again? Too quiet. Oh, your bounce is fine. Wait, trying to bounce audio is a delicate art. Okay, that's fine. Ah, good. It'd be convenient if there's a one size fit all one, but unfortunately. Every game is different. Some are too loud, some are too quiet. Alright, I should mention all the songs I play are Doba Syndrome. I kind of want to play classical music, but I'm not sure which ones are copyright free and which ones are still... ...not okay. I really want to play Dance Macabre, because, you know, skeleton. <laughs> I think Dance Macabre is public domain. I mean, it did release in, what was it, 16... the 1600s? I used to my buzz. <laughs> I don't know how Twitch works with music. Like on YouTube, uh, all my Dragon Ball videos have been copyright claimed because of Shala or whatever. So I have an option to mute in them, which I don't because I'm not making money, so it doesn't really matter yet. I guess when that happens, I'll have to mute them or back out the audio. I could replace it though. Hmm. Like, there's this one YouTuber I used to watch, and whenever he had to deal with a copyright song, he just had to swap it out with a fan made cover, with the permission, of course, and that was fine.
has a sip. Okay. I was surprised when I first started listening to classical music, because I thought, oh, it'd be boring songs, they're really old. And then I was surprised how many I recognized from just TV or commercials or whatever. You ever heard of Taiko no Tatsujin? It's a rhythm game series. They had a classical section. jumps for that. Expensive. Hmm. Weren't your drum kit being a sculpt or something like that as well? Oops. I don't really play rhythm games that much. I do like them, it's just I don't know if I can stream them, you know, with copyright. And that kind of ruins the fun, I guess. You know, where people come afterwards and they want to watch the vlog, but they can't because the thing's been muted. the red school there. Ah, oops, Tycho. Ah, Tycho again. tomorrow or maybe later on no time zones are weird I was thinking if you go back to it wait no let me try it again I said my words in the wrong order if you fly to a country that's behind you time zone wise are you technically traveling back in time Just for a few minutes. 
Oh, I was saying... <laughs> just a dumb question in my mind wonder. You know, time zones, if you go back to a country... Wait, which you? If you go to a country that's behind you... Wait, you actually go back in time. So that's the, this is my full model. I just used a simple chibi before. It's just a PNG right now. But when? I'll be optimistic. When I reach affiliate to be live 2D. Your brain can't compute. Oh yeah, so I need to make the chat box. And redo it. Uh, size-wise... I think I can make... These ones are fine, but then make them smaller since they're further away. Go switch to LU again. It's been a while. Let's see. What's this one again? Oh, this is the one I used last time. Oops, that's not. That's not OBS. This is OBS. So we had draw schools, they look more like octopus instead, or octopi.
Hmm. I suppose it's fine. What if I use a little smaller one? I forgot to loop. Oops. You forgot something. Later. All right, now that I fix my overlay, maybe that comment I can fix it. A comment on my YouTube video for the Mass Effect 2 pod saying that the screen looked a bit vertically compressed. Probably because I stretched the screen to fit the screen. It was an awful sentence. <laughs> so, anyway, now that I have a proper aspect ratio on my screen, hopefully it won't look so weird anymore. because I made that comment, did I? Oh, no, not you. Um, well, they weren't even rude or anything. It was just a, hey, here's a heads up. Since you guys are looking at the screen, I kind of want to make it the best I can, you know? I was playing um, Mass Effect 2. Apparently that game, even though it's a remastered edition, it's not exactly remastered. So apparently the screen, the resolution's kind of weird sometimes. So the comment I got was suggesting how to fix it. So maybe it might not have been the game. Maybe it was actually me. I think that's what to find out next time I play it. I appreciate any and all feedback though. brush instead. Ah, oh, it looks a bit too pixelated. Never mind. It'd be fine if the whole thing was pixelated, but 
Make some mashing even like that. Looks kind of weird, I think. Oh, right, as he's in. Wait, should I? Yeah, we do all these. I'm never really happy with my work. I think it's what, what was I saying about the artist critic is biggest critic is himself. I don't want to get complacent either. I do appreciate the comment though, or compliment rather. Abilities. Let's see. Wait, no, first we need to. And then. Yeah. A bit better. This is a green school there. Oops, did I make that? No, it's okay. Oh, I just made it. Let's go. And then... This will be the dark purple. Okay, now a uh, darker gray. I like, but I don't think I want to draw like them. I can't really say I have any artistic influences. Like, Hidari's art style is beautiful, and I was like, wow, it's incredible, but I don't really want to draw like him. I just want to draw like myself, I suppose. Your full model. I did draw your head quite big, which made you look quite short. Uh, uh, look short. I am my official height is five foot four, but I also have four inch heels, so I guess I'm more like five foot eight. I'm definitely not. <laughs> I am flat though, because you know skeletons, they don't have.
That's pretty tall over here. My taller than you. I thought I was kind of tall. I went to secondary school and all the guys hit puberty and suddenly I thought, oh, I'm really short actually, huh. I fall 11. My family are kind of tall. Like my dad's granddad or was it his... I think it was his granddad. He had two. Um, one of them was five foot seven, or not five foot seven. One of them was six foot seven. The other was like, apparently like six foot eleven or something like that. My mother and her family are pretty short, though. I guess I take after her. I'm kind of glad it'd be awkward if I had to buy clothes when I was like, you know, six foot. Refer to mommy. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. What am I doing? Oh, wait, it's fine. I'm on the right layer. Okay, yeah, looks fine so far. Alright, I should do test run again. Let's see. Still need to fix the chat. Apart from that though. Wait, did I save? Oh, I didn't save. Okay. These schools a bit bigger. Oops. For rent? Uh, I don't know. I don't really want to call myself either, does decide for yourself. reaction to the question. <laughs> I can't really look at myself objectively and say, I'm this kind of person. 
I already know what I am. Oh, I've already spaced them out and just... Yeah, I suppose I'll do that. After I finish the stream, I'll need to relabel it. I suppose I'll call it Airstream featuring Dragon Ball Z Kakara. <laughs> I didn't really want to play Dragon Ball today, to be honest. I wasn't really sure what to play. I don't really know what I am in such a mood. I'm kind of done with Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, but since I said I finished the DLC in post-game, I kind of feel like I have to know. The yeah, stream is nice, it doesn't always have to be on display. I was going to start a new game today. I was going to start Nino Kuni. But then I thought... <clears throat> Since I'm already playing through five-ish games, I should finish one before I start another one. The gacha or the other one? Oh, the gacha game is a mobile one, isn't it? Uh, the first one, Rat of the Right, yeah, Rat of the White Witch. Oops. Don't know if I heard that, but I hit my table again. I'm not really into mobile games. I play them for a month and I think, oh, this is kind of fun. And then I still need to uninstall them. Or sometimes I think, wow, this is really cool. Too bad it's not a real game. Don't pull down to catch a hole. Is it too late for you? Squeeze your wallet dry. You sound like you're speaking from experience. <laughs> I am a survivor. <laughs> That's not a real game. As long as you don't do anything too crazy and spend money you don't have, I suppose it's fine. I gotta go. Okay, see you tomorrow or whenever you decide to show up again. Bye bye. Another thing on mobile games is they do the daily login stuff, right? So then, at that point, after a while, you're not playing because you want to because, oh, I had to keep up my streak. You do the day stuff as well. Alright, 
Probably do this just to check on them. Uh, yeah, so then maybe I'll redo the green one too. Actually, no, I don't want it to go on Tortilla. It becomes like you're working rather than playing. Yeah, like I was saying, it's more of an obligation because you want to have a fun time or anything. I guess that model must be working though, because mobile games are really profitable. Oh, they are if you're a successful big one after all. There's plenty to come and go. Is Fate... Wait, was it Fate Grand Order still the number one? Or Wait, was it Fate Grand Order or was it Grand Blue? Only it was number one. I did play a bit of Grand Blue Fantasy. I might bring back bad memories. <laughs> Gotta have to believe that. You bought for pulls? Is it possible to do a free to play run of Grand Order? Don't get what you want and as soon as wait, don't get what you want and as soon as you will quit. I mean you do this somewhere. Yeah, maybe just read it first. I want to spread them out more. I give you a rare character. I know some of them they try to entice you first with free stuff and then they suddenly hit you with a hey, pay up now. This was a chat window once I believe. Yeah. Like a zero percent drop. It's free to playable. No, but I mean, like, is it viable? Like, can you get by with free stuff? I suppose. just be challenging. But possible. Hmm. Okay, what if I... Here. Oops. And if I put myself around right here and then chat will go back to sit down. Need that here. It could work, but I need to do a test. Girl has a twin. <laughs> oh, right, I need to actually. Now we do a test run. Ah, I forgot. I need to get rid of myself. Oh, uh, let's see. Main screen. Set the game to this size. And then chat. Hmm. 
You have a nickname, Nakuru. Or you can call me whatever you want, really. I don't mind. That's a bit too small now. Let's see. Hmm, I need to make the font smaller right now. Streamlabs. Oh, this could work. I wrote a really big message. Okay, my name doesn't show. Uh, let's see, Streamlabs. Do, 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 do. I think my current font is 24. using OBS and Streamlabs. Let's see, what do I need to find? 16? Is that too small? Let's see. Try it again. What if I... I made it slightly bigger. Like, maybe 70? Maybe that's an improvement. Hmm. I think we'll go with this for now. Yeah, okay. Alright, uh, I need to do my outro properly since I think I'm pretty much finished. I need to redo the green skull so we can do that later. Um, is there anything else I need to do? I don't think so. So yeah, I need to do my ending properly, so that means doing this and then, you know, leaving it alone for a few seconds because I don't want to accidentally cut myself off again. It's very rude to leave without saying goodbye. Anyway, goodbye! <laughs>